the story of PMTCT in Uganda is in a way also linked to the story of AFC in Uganda because uh, AFC uh, started its operations in Uganda about 25 years ago in 1984 and uh, one of the first places that they went was in Kitgo. Because of the insecurity that was there at the time, many organizations that used to work there before the war happened, they had left. However, all that time, AFSI remained operating in the north. And therefore, in 2001, when the Minister of Health was thinking of how to uh, prevent the, the to carry out the, the program of prevention of mother to child infection in northern Uganda, AFSI was naturally selected as one of those organizations that will be able to carry out this, uh, this work. PMTCT is prevention of mother to child transmission of HIV. Now, transmission of HIV can occur in, at different stages. The first uh, possible place that transmission can occur is in the uterus, while the baby is still growing in the uterus. And that accounts for approximately 20% of overall transmission. The most significant point is during labor and uh, delivery, which accounts for about 40 to 45%. And the rest is uh, accounted for during breastfeeding. Now, at each of those points, we have specific uh, targeted interventions to reduce transmission. In the antenatal period, while the baby is still in the uterus, we give drugs and we give health education, which includes keeping the mother healthy, preventing malaria, sexually transmitted diseases, which are all factors that can contribute to the transmission, and also malnutrition. In uh, the second phase, which is uh, labor and delivery, we are encouraging all mothers to deliver at the health facility because a specialized care by a midwife actually reduces transmission of HIV during delivery. So we are discouraging mothers from delivering at home and we want them to come to the facilities. The third point, which is during breastfeeding, is um, uh, implemented by encouraging the mothers to follow the infant feeding options while either the mother or the baby is taking ARVs. When we talk about AFC 10 years of provision of the PMT city service, I should say we have been successful in the sense that we started in a few health facilities, two hospitals, Kitgum Government Hospital and St. Joseph Hospital. And the government requirement was that these PMT city services, they spread all over the districts, especially to the health center threes. We were able to support the district health offices to expand to all the health center threes in the districts where we are working. And the other thing I should say has been a success in our implementation of the service. We have been able to carry out sensitization activities. This was a new, I should call it a new innovation. People could not believe that one can be HIV positive and they produce a child who is negative. So we engaged in uh, community sensitization. So we were able to interest the mothers to come to the health facilities. The activity started in 2008 by awareness creation. AFSI was already in the two hospitals of Kidgum and Kidgum Government Hospital and St. Joseph. But when they came to meeting point in 2008, we started with awareness creation within the community. You gather the community and you discuss together. Uh, you give them information on PMCT and uh, how they can help one another in the community so that they know that this uh, activity is there, this project is there in the two hospitals. They can go and receive the service. And uh, secondly, we were using expert clients, those who are already HIV positive. They go and perform dramas in the community to depict that much as maybe if you have HIV, you can still prevent the baby from getting the infection from the home during delivery, during breastfeeding. And it has helped most people to go to test for HIV because they know that if they don't, they will infect their babies. In the past, the mothers were only coming, the mother with the children. But now they come with their spouse, husbands, wife and their children together. They sit, they share their experiences, 
those who have the good experiences, like feeding the babies, they even saw their, their fellow friends how to prepare food for these children. So they come with the local food like millet flour, um, maize flour, maybe groundnuts, maybe simsim paste. So all these they put together, after sharing the experiences, they start cooking there so that they show their fellow friends how to make the food for the children to become, I mean, nutritious food. And it is through ANC clinics that we take the mother through the PMTCT process. We started with a very small population then, but we have seen the ANC attendance growing gradually because this is something that has been accepted. If you're in, in need of getting a child, before you, you have it, please go to the doctors, talk to them. Then they can give you the right way, the right procedure, how you can go so that you have your baby free of HIV. And in many cases, they have done, for example, of budget, the first child was HIV positive, and they realized that they were HIV positive from the child because it was always see, going to the hospital time and again. And later on, they wanted to have another child at least someone who is free of HIV AIDS. So they had to go to the hospital, they were given advice. Now they have two children who are free of HIV and the woman is again pregnant. And I'm sure this child will again be free of HIV. The mother, once she's pregnant, she comes alone to the health facility. But through continuous community sensitization, we have been able to interest the mothers to come with their partners. We started at a very small percentage uh, about three, four, those years, two percent uh, mothers would come with their husbands. But as we speak today, on average, it's like about 70 percent. AVC is one of the partners that started to implement PMTCT in the country, especially in the northern part of the region, uh, as early as May 2002. And during that time, because of the insurgency and the general situation of unrest, AFC had to directly implement the policies at the health facility level. However, currently, because of the peace situation and uh, development in the region, the strategy that is encouraged is capacity development of the district health team, but also of the health workers at the community and at the facility level. So what we are basically doing is improve their capacity, improve their knowledge so that they can run the system by themselves without too much donor participation. In uh, 2010, we did a study to try and understand uh, what was the impact of the, the, our approach, our method in, which, in the way we worked as AFC on the units, uh, on the healthcare units, and on their response or their reporting to other, to, to the whole system of the health system. And we realized that uh, many of the units that we supported were able to report at about 90% or some of them also 100% as compared to other units that were not supported by us. Um, and. Uh, we know that this is precisely because of our method, the way we work. When we work with the partners, and that means we involve them, uh, we look at the reality that is there, uh, we work along with them. But also, uh, under the principle of subsidiarity, well, we don't do things that they can do better, or we uh, build their capacity to do things that uh, that should not be done by the higher le levels of government. I think we need to, e to invest in a comprehensive community sensitization program. This will improve on the health-seeking behavior. Also, it will improve on the involvement of the male partners in the PMTCT programs. This is what is embedded in the AFC method, starting from the person uh, looking at what the resources are there and looking at the person as a positive aspect, as a, a person that can be a resource within the environment, not as a problem or as a, an, an obstacle to what has to happen within that environment. And for us, that has been very helpful. And uh, through it, a number of um, individuals, persons, groups have been trained, and it is that 
uh, interaction, that training, that building of the capacity that has been able to put something that lasts, something that remains even when AFC leaves. In the past, we used to see very many babies born of mothers who are HIV positive and they were positive. But today, you find that a big percentage of HIV positive mothers, they are having babies who are HIV negative because of this program.